a young champion on the rise to become the king of the sport, you know, facing the king. He has to go out there and fight hard and dictate the pace right from the start. He's going to fight to the death mm -hmm. because his heart. You know, he's going to go down in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. That's one of the opponents I beat. <laughs> one of the exciting young stars of boxing today. Fight fans, welcome back. Been fighting as a professional since the tender age of 15. With another fight night comes another opportunity to appreciate a modern day legend before it's too late. Undisputed versus undisputed. A man who breaks the stigma despite any challenges, despite any controversy. Did you hear anything about an investigation? And despite his losses. Yeah, he's frustrated. To remain today's face of boxing. However, it certainly hasn't been plain sailing for the pride of Mexico as at one point it could have come crashing down. Here we look at the landscape, the build-up, and the mind game. Here's Canelo doesn't want to hold the belt. Of a night where Floyd almost ruined boxing's best laid plans and mentally, physically dismantled a future Hall of Famer. The blueprint is right there. Just look at it. I took it out of the vault and I handed it over to Canelo Alvarez. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. Mother, we got the remedy. Shut up! Mother, I am boxing! You've been out there for a year. You're gonna come back in. You got a good opponent this weekend. This is the first of a six-fight deal. 36 isn't old, but in boxing terms, somewhat. Why agree to something of that length? The boxing landscape at the back end of 2013. Floyd is supposed to be TBE, and I want to fight the best was very, very different. And I will be taking over from after this fight, it'll all be on pay-per-view. The Klitschkos were refusing to budge at boxing's top table. No chance Tony Thompson will get up from this. But plenty of talents, young and old, were creating their own blends of beautiful chaos. You know, it's just a bad idea to stand in front of Copeland. Regan Doe had just outpointed Don Air in his 12th pro bout. Shot by, oh my goodness! They're trading punches now! These are nuclear bombs they're trading. Adrian Broner was still being touted as boxing's next big thing. Since everybody thinks I'm picking my opponents, my next opponent, I'm gonna let y'all pick. At least for a few more months. Broner goes down for the first time in his career! And at the other end of the scale, Manny had been out of the ring for seven months after the Marquez knockout. The result of the greatest one-punch knockout, I believe, in the history of boxing. Meaning 30-0, Timothy Bradley was still regarded as second or third in most people's pound-for-pound -pound lists. I'll fight all these guys, man. I got skills, and I believe in my skills, and I believe in myself. All impressive. But the distant thuds of a 31-year-old Golovkin were making more noise than any other. And after beating Matthew Macklin in one of his most devastating and intimidating victories so far... Those are the punches you don't get up from. You can count to 100, Matthew Macklin is not getting up. The boxing world was running out of challenges. People knew who you were, but now to make such an impact and becoming an instant celebrity overnight, people are going to be talking about you now in a performance like this. Uh, you, know. you ready to wear that crown? On the other hand, we heard rumors that Triple G knocked down or out one of the light heavyweight champions with a body shot. In a Triple sparring G. session. Yeah, in a spar sparring session, but still it happened. Middleweight threats were running dry. So Golovkin's hit list needed to extend beyond the confines of the 160-pound weight class. There's Golovkin out there. There's um, Chavez out there. Who would you like to fight next? Up at super middle, the physicality and rigidity at Ward would have posed questions. The sense that he'll do what it takes to win, to pull out a close fight. He only knows one experience in the ring. As winning. He, as... And the resistance and chin of Carl Froch would have presented an unstoppable force versus immovable object showcase. People just look at my resume and they know I'll fight anybody. I've boxed everybody. Golovkin, he doesn't worry me. I fear no man. Instead, in the other direction, it was the opportunity to see Floyd Mayweather finally take a loss. You finally beat me. For someone to finally crack the blueprint. I do everything better than every boxer. 
that drew more and more question marks. The biggest fight that you want, the fight that you want more than any other fight, is Floyd Mayweather Jr. I thought he was really, I mean, straight up and down, no special effects. I don't knock him. He can't, he can't. This is my dream. Seriously, this is my dream. This is a big present for me. This is business. Come on, guys. This is business. Yep. At this stage, Floyd was 36. He had already returned from a few bouts of inactivity, including a two-month jail stint. It was very, very rough for me, but, you know, I think that certain obstacles are put in your way for certain reasons, just to make you stronger. But this time, with the birth of his new all-access features, Mayweather had well and truly committed to the bad guy role. It's not a reality show because a reality show is watered down. What I'm going to give you is all access, raw and uncut. And in his transition from pretty boy to money, was making more noise and talking more trash than ever. We're going to keep pressure on Mayweather. It's not going to work. The game plan is just coming in and get your payday. Fucking dumbass. 44 steps to the plate and 44 will come up short. Guarantee that. I don't care what you do good. I do every thing great. Whilst Golovkin was still classed as an extremely high-risk, low-reward fight, the one that people really wanted, Mayweather Pacquiao, had continued to stall since 2009. On the table right now, as we speak, is $125 million. Every fight fan on the planet wants to know, will Manny ever fight Floyd Mayweather? He's scared to death of Manny Pacquiao. And so instead, the opportunity fell to a man who fit the narrative perfectly. A younger athlete with faster hands and a fresher engine combined with that all-important sprinkle of De La Hoya saltiness. Mayweather's got people that just want to see him lose. I'm going to be one of them that's going to take a deep breath and say, finally, finally. What Mayweather had lost over the years with brittle hands and an aging body, he had certainly gained in experience and ring smarts. But well, my dad is very, he was, he's been upset with me lately, saying with my last six fights, he don't want me to take any punishment, so I need to tighten up with my defense. And I told him he's right. And amidst the Nevada heat in his notorious doghouse gym, Floyd had perfected the art of old manning the young up-and-comers. That said, Oscar's new golden boy was no regular prospect. He hit me with a left hook and just the force of it, I just thought, Jesus Christ, what the, what am I doing here? Another unbeaten champion had already fallen victim to the Guadalajara native. Tim Haley from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. As the 23-year-old's power prevailed against a busy and gritty Austin Trout. There's a good chance. Many saw Canelo as a bigger and stronger version of Miguel Cotto, whom Floyd had toiled with a year prior. No matter what you think from outside the ring, inside the ring, you're looking at a craftsman and a surgeon. And now, at 42 and 0, it looked like the perfect time for an elite level leap of faith. What chance do you really give Canelo against Floyd in this fight? In boxing, nobody stays undefeated. I think when Floyd gets hit by Canelo, he'll realize right away that this is a little different uh, animal that I'm in here with tonight. He's not 25 anymore. He's not 30 anymore. I give him a very good chance only because Floyd gives you a chance. And really, that's the best way to break it down is Floyd's greatest strength is also his greatest weakness. It's his defense. The bright lights and spectacle of a Floyd Mayweather showdown meant more media, more eyes, and more pressure than ever before. I think this is his first time to the big dance. I've been here, you know, for a very, very long time, and I know what it takes when it's a fight of this magnitude. Something that no fighter, especially at this time, could really prepare for. And come September 14th, it's the best 
versus the best. He's never been involved in a promotion at this level. When he makes that long walk to the ring and the fans are screaming, then I think it's going to hit him. It's like, oh, I'm fighting Floyd. Hey, Floyd, you don't have one today. Are you sure you want to take one with me, Austin? I'm f***ing with you, man. Come on. And worse still, in that high-pressure environment where most men crumble, Floyd wasn't just comfortable, he thrived. One and only Floyd Money Mayweather. When I fought Floyd Mayweather, I laid out the blueprint. Yes, they gave him the decision. They gave him the fight. He beat me, but the blueprint is right there. Just look at it. Oscar tried to give Ricky Hatton the blueprint. Ricky Hatton lost. Shane Mosley, Ortiz, Robert Guerrero, they lost. Oscar would try to give Canelo the blueprint. And he will lose. I took it out of the vault and I handed it over to Canelo Alvarez. Go the other aisle. Canelo is such a big star, but he's never been on pay-per-view unless he was on my undercard. But he's such a big star. He's such a big star, Oscar. If it was any reflection of how the fight might play out, Mayweather's verbal jabs were cleaner, snappier, and more effortlessly delivered. You know what? You might as well call me the golden boy. Y'all done beat everybody on your host. The whole crew. And el boxeo. As the hero versus villain roles, alongside Oscar's personal vendetta, sat perfectly. Piensa que todos los boxeadores no tienen que esperar o se tienen que intimidar. A mí nadie me intimida. Making for a historic, record-breaking buildup. Almost twenty million dollars worth of tickets sold in less than an hour. Though Father Time waits for nobody and the boxing world sat in anticipation to see whether or not Floyd's reign would finally crumble. Well, I think Floyd's seen a lot of different things in his fight game, but I don't think that he expects Canelo to be as good as he's gonna be. Canelo has to go out there and fight hard and dictate the pace right from the start. You see the psychological stuff going on there, you guys? Canelo is sending a signal. He's starting to mature at age 23. I think they probably talked about that. Whatever Floyd tries to do, or whatever Floyd's people may try to do, don't get it, don't let him get in your head, don't let him get him up, up in your face, just be yourself. Yeah, that was a great, great way in. Here's Canelo doesn't want to hold the belt. I would want to hold it. That's pure gold the WBC made for it just for this special fight. If he wins the fight, he can hold it all night long tomorrow night. That's what he's worried about. You tried to hand him the belt. What went on there? But you know how these young kids are. Tomorrow I go out there, I got to tame the kid. 44 and 0. Saturday, 45 and 0. And I respect the country of Mexico. But one thing that I always know about the sport of boxing, my fans can't fight for me, and his fans can't fight for him. Please welcome one of the exciting young stars of boxing today. Anytime, any place. Canelo, he's baking on his youth. And me, myself, I have a lot of experience. Really needing no introduction to the world. Touch him up, touch him up. Whatever you do good, the Twilight version of Floyd would know how to take it away from you. And so, when Canelo brought his firepower and aggression early doors, Mayweather was already two steps ahead. Bang, it's just good, buddy. Come on, Barnard. Yeah, yeah, that's what we want to do, Barnard. This guy's career. Alvarez was never allowed into firing range, especially since Floyd didn't commit to many power shots early on. This forced Canelo to try and create his own openings with his trademark flurries, but there was simply no way through. I didn't have the patience to know how to enter, how to get through, and I didn't have the patience to get to the moment to connect my shots. Instead, as the youngster became more and more frustrated, his composure dropped, his work got sloppier, and Floyd began to find home again and again and again. Everybody tries to rip Mayweather's head off. And once they don't, then they're tired. That's when Mayweather comes. I'm a world wonder. He's letting this guy beat him up. Canelo, for whatever reason, decided to fight his fight. 
One of my favorite quotes of the fight was Floyd being described as a man who's everywhere and nowhere at the same time. So far, it's been boxing lesson time for the young up-and-comer. Pot shotting and dog walking his opponent with his hands down, money may reduce the sport's hottest prospect to a relative novice and didn't lose a step. He was banking on his youth, but um, I still think since I haven't took no abuse in the sport, my legs are still young. I still had spring, I still had bounce in a later round. A truly masterful performance, and one that would age like a fine wine. I'm still not sure what C.J. Ross was watching to have it scored a draw, but there was no shame in losing to this or any other version of Mayweather. And the way Canelo took the loss spoke volumes. Hey, how about that? The manner and mindset that you'd expect from a future Hall of Famer. The kid went to school tonight. He'll be back. It's not the last of Canelo Alvarez at 23. Your dad kept saying, Floyd, relax. Floyd, relax. Was there something that was concerning you about his power? a little bit more relaxed. Sometimes you get scared away with a few things. No, not at all. He's a, he's a strong competitor. He's a strong champion. It's nothing I never felt before. And Canelo is a champion. He's a true champion at heart. And a true champion like Canelo, he can take a loss and bounce back. And as Floyd gave credit in the aftermath, his words, coming from the mouth of one of the greatest to ever do it, might just have sparked an all-important fire in the belly of the future face of boxing. But I think what he didn't realize is, Floyd Mayweather, is that he made Canelo a better fighter. It's all about how you come back and how your mindset is. You have to be focused, you have to be ready, you have to be hungry again. Ahorita, si fuera en este momento, imagínate, ahí le desbarato los hombros primero. Sería una pelea completamente diferente. Floyd made a record $41.5 million that night, and to compare, that was more than every single fighter in the UFC who fought in 2013. And with it, his brand and earning power grew exponentially. Here is the pound for pound great of the pay per view king, boxing's future Hall of Famer, Floyd. In boxing, the passing of the torch usually comes as one veteran fighter is forced to give way to the latest rising lion. Sometimes a fighter, when they lose their O, right, it breaks them. I think we saw that with Prince Asim Hamid. Can there be any doubt? There's one that sort of springs to mind as a fighter that as soon as he lost his O, he lost his power. For Canelo, although he suffered defeat, it seemed to make him. But this snapshot in history proves that even falling short on the biggest stage, doesn't define a fighter's career. The way we see Canelo assert himself now, now the modern version of Canelo is a predator. Hard right hand, Smith is hurt. Buckled on the ropes. From here, Canelo went on a tear. A decade of middleweight and super middleweight dominance, beating some of the most prolific names in the sport. What bravery from Alvarez. All around here, people are standing up right around this huge arena here in Las Vegas, appreciating every moment. And whilst it still hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows, he stands as the personification of fighting spirit and daring to be great. Viva Mexico, now entering the stage of his career that Floyd was at a decade ago, we're reminded that when Canelo does hang them up, he'll leave a void which can't be filled. So a style which can't be emulated. Canelo. And a legacy that can't be discredited. Oh, buddy.